Dark chocolate, dark energy, dark pudding. You're right, R2, all the dark portal books are missing. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and this is my friend, R2. We were just down in the library doing a little bit of research, nothing really too important, though. Okay, maybe a little bit important, but nothing that can't wait till a little bit later. R2, tell them what we're building today. That's right, we're going to be building the helmets from the Metal Earth Star Wars collection. And what better helmet to start with than the infamous Stormtrooper helmet? Well, we would have done the Rebel helmet R2, but I feel like this one's a little bit easier to start with, and of course, a little bit more famous. Well, we can argue about this a little bit later, R2, not right now. All right, Groovers, let's get down to the workbench and take a look at the package. Group Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Metal Alert Stormtrooper helmet in some pretty awesome Star Wars packaging. And look at this metal over here. It does look really good, but I wonder how easily it's going to scratch. Groovers, let's take a look at the back. On the back, we get a brief look at our metal, followed by some instructions on how to build this build. Then, just to the left, we have a QR code, which we can scan to get a 360 view of our model if we need it while we're building. And then finally, at the bottom, we have a look at some other models in the series. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. And we have our two sheets of metal. And wow, look at this. Okay, Groovers, let's get all of our parts out. And just like that, we have all of our parts needed for our first page. Now, starting with part number one here, we're going to grab parts two and three and just take these tabs and bend them over very simply, just like this. Okay, right on. There's our first piece done. Let's do the same thing to our second piece here. And with our tabs bent down, we can now attach them onto our main mask area here. This is part one and of course part four. If they're not going in easily, just make sure you're very careful not to scratch the paint. If you have some detailed tweezers like mine, you can use the little persuasion tools here to help you in. There we go, our first little bit. Now these tabs are secured with a fold over, very important. So we're gonna bend them just like this and press them down, very good. Same thing with the other side. And just press it down. Okay, there's our first little bit of detail finished. Now we move on to our next step. This part's pretty easy to form. We're just gonna bend all of the edges down and make sure all of the seams match. That's very important. These are secured with a nice twist. Okay, we're looking pretty good if you ask me. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is bend these tabs forward just a little bit here. And that's gonna help us out do a few things. I'm gonna use my handy dandy doming set over here to give me a hand making the proper shape. And that's gonna get those tabs just out of the way as I do it. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. The shape we have is really nice. We don't have any hot spots, but I think we may have to make this bend a little bit more tighter as we go. No big deal though. Let's move on to our next part, which is part number six. And we're gonna be bending all these little bits of detail here inward, not on the side with all the lines. Okay, all of our tabs look pretty evenly bent. Now we got to attach it to our part number one here. I think this might be a little tricky. Last little twist here. There we go. And we have our first contrast piece attached onto our helmet. Now we need to form the dome, which can be really tricky if you haven't done one before. The main thing to remember is just match the seams as you go. 
and you should be okay. But I'm going to go ahead and use my doming set here to give me a hand. Makes life a little bit easier. Now one thing I'm noticing is they're telling me to put all of the tabs on the inside. So that is a little bit trickier and uh, it will get a little complicated towards the end, but it will be a nice finish. Only a few more pedals to go here. Still just kind of working it out as I go. Sometimes you may have to go back and reform some older pedals you've already done just to get the proper shaping. There's nothing wrong with that. And this is really an important step. So make sure you take as much time as you need to with this step. Okay, I like what we got with this, but I still feel like we're gonna have to do some more shaping here, especially when it comes to these little edges. Although I do like what we got, I think that's about as best as I'm going to be able to get it. Let's go ahead and move on to our next step by getting more parts. And just like that, we have all of our parts needed to complete our build. Now the first thing we're going to do is connect our dome on to our faceplate which I think is going to be pretty straightforward. We just need to make sure that we get everything lined up properly. And that means these little front tabs here. Now we need to move on to part nine and 10, which part 10 here is pretty straightforward. But part number nine actually has a small little bit of detail that we need to make sure it goes on properly. And then just like last time, we want to make sure we're matching that engraved detail when we're placing our part down. And we also don't want to scratch any of that white paint, especially because it's going to be exposed on the front. After attaching that little bit of detail, now we're going to bend all of these things here forward. Just like this, making sure we match them all. We want to make sure they're all in the same plane so they bend nice and evenly. I don't want too drastic of a bend here, but I am using my tool to help me get a start on everything bending and I'll use the actual helmet to help me get the right shape. There's our first piece done. Do the same thing for right here. We're gonna bend all of these little tabs forward. There we go. Both of these now are kind of shaped, but again, not the right shape that we need. Now starting with the front here, we're gonna go ahead and attach these. Okay, I like how this is turning out, but let's go ahead and move on to our next step, which is forming our stand. Pretty straightforward stuff here. We're going to take this piece right here and we're going to bend it over our doming set to get the proper shape. Okay, I'm liking how the cylinder came out. We're going to attach this top piece here, which is part number 12. Forming our base here. Now, when you get to this step here, it's very important that you put that little seam there in the back. Now for the moment of truth, everything has to come together and we gotta bend these little tabs here out first. Boom. And boom, all right. Now all those have been bent out. So now this piece comes in. Hoo wee All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is attach that little nose. I think that's most important and probably the most difficult part. Now we gotta do the back area here. This is not any easier. Okay, I'm digging this now. I'm looking a little bit better. I'm liking how it comes out. You got like any build, you do have to kind of go back and really kind of push things into place and make sure everything is forming correctly. But for the most part, I'm actually really surprised and happy with this. Okay, now we gotta do the front piece here, which might be a little stressful.
that looks pretty good. Lastly, we just need to attach our stand now. Just a matter of placing these tabs in the right area. And there we go, our Stormtrooper helmet. Ah, we did it, Groove Builders. We built the Metal Earth Star Wars Stormtrooper helmet. And this build was quite a lot of fun to build. However, there are some things you're gonna wanna know if you're gonna build this at home. Let's talk about those things in construction. My first point when it comes to building the Star Wars Stormtrooper helmet is about this color right here. It does look really good, and I have to admit that Metal Earth has done a great job with all the color models they've been releasing lately. However, with this particular model, I've noticed that some of my coloring is a little off, especially around the back here. I don't know if you can see that well at home, but you'll notice the front here is nice and bright, where the back here is a little bit dull. And of course, on the front here, the black, if you look back here, looks black, but a little bit closer, you'll notice it's actually a light gray. Kind of weird, right? Is it a big deal? Not really. This model looks great the way it is, but if you are buying color models, it's very important to check your sheets before building. If you had any more fitting than this, I would definitely want it replaced. For my second point, I want to talk about the shaping of this head right here. Now, one thing I noticed almost immediately is that it's not a dome, but the best way to actually form it is to do the best dome you possibly can first and then line up all of your seams. By the end, you'll have less of a dome shape and more of a bulb shape. For my third and final point, I want to talk about part number seven right here, which is just above the eyes. In the beginning, it's pretty easy to secure all of your tabs to that piece, but later on down the road, it can be a little tricky, especially with that one tab right here in the middle. Go slow throughout that time. You don't want to accidentally scratch any of the paint in the eye section because you'll definitely notice it. One other thing I've noticed is that the helmet pulls away from the eyes. So the best way to really secure this helmet down is to use just a little bit of super glue in the front and hold your pieces together for about 10 seconds. After that, your model should look great. With that being said, let's move on to build time. The Metal Earth Star Wars Stormtrooper helmet took me just under an hour to build, and I do think that's gonna be about average for most metal model builders out there. If you don't have shaping tools to help you with this top here, it might take a little bit longer, but this build is definitely one you can do in a single sitting. And lastly, my thoughts. When Metal Earth revealed that they were gonna be releasing this line, I was stoked. Now, yes, we have lots of Star Wars Metal Earth models, but these ones looked awesome because of all their unique shaping and, of course, the color. And I can say after building this one, at least in this case, it hasn't disappointed. Is the shaping complicated? Not really. For the most part, this build is extremely straightforward, although I can see people having a hard time with this dome up here. Can I recommend this for new builders? Absolutely, although you will have to be careful not to scratch any of the paint and of course take your time with the forming. You never want to rush these models. All right, group builders, that brings us to the end. I had a really good time building the Star Wars Metal Earth Stormtrooper helmet with you, and if you had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content like this coming out in the future. Until next time, group builders, keep building. Now I gotta make a plaque and start lining these all up nicely.